I was driving on the highway. <laughs> it could have been so bad. The cold one last night. Stop. I think it's broken. No hate to Nebraska. The police came up beside me. He's like, because <laughs> you don't want everyone to watch you struggle. Electricity is out. The only reason I came and stayed at this shitty motel. That's what you get for booking the cheapest hotel you could possibly find. I got my work done finally. The internet finally went back on after a couple hours. And uh, I slept a little bit. It smells very strange in here. This hotel was terrible. Absolutely terrible. Scary. The works. I hated it. Uh, I would never want to stay somewhere like I'm safer when I'm in rest stops. I feel safer in rest stops than at this hotel. It is so windy here. I think I'm in Kansas. I don't know where I'm at. I was driving on the highway and pum, 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 like a giant was landing on my car. It was my tire on top. And so I pulled over at this exit and lo and behold, the strap had completely loosened and was barely hanging on. That could have been so bad. So I'm taking it off the roof now, putting it in the back. God damn it. about that anymore. Where am I? My Jeep is blowing all over the road. I don't want to drive in this wind, but I don't know when it's going to stop or if it will. I think I'm nearly in Nebraska. I don't think I went through Kansas, but I feel like this is very Kansas weather. As I'm sitting here, I'm just like kind of rocking. I found home for the night, like a skip and a hop, and you're on the highway. <laughs> but yeah, Nebraska is fucking windy, mate. Oh my god, it's only like five, but I'm really tired, and also the I think the time has changed. Right, so I have my little setup set up again for two nights. And I don't feel quite as secure at this rest stop as the other one because it's right near the highway, but also because the semi trucks are right beside me on this side. My meals are so boring that I hate to even show them to you, but I had um, some, some pop chips and then I have a bunch of eggs, prunes. I had a big protein smoothie this morning. So these are the types of things that I've been eating, which I don't like to eat too much when I'm driving. I don't like to feel bloated. I only have 12 and a half hours left to go. I think the longer I go on, the more kind of like lonely and scared I get because I'm in territory I've never been in before. I've never been in Nebraska. This is the part of the states that I've never been. And the landscape is changing a lot as I, as I go exploring the US. It's a cold one last night. It was very cold, but it's made through just fun. I got down into the 30s. We won't make it out of Nebraska today. It's gonna be a Nebraska day. I don't like Nebraska. I had to crack one of these open last night. And threw them down at the bottom of my sleeping bag. I'm using it right now. They're still hot. It's still warm. I'm day five now. No human contact. Who am I anymore? It's a great perspective change. I got another hotel. I've been keeping up with doing a hotel every other day and sleeping at rest stops every other day. So tonight that means that I have to sleep at another rest stop, which is getting a little inconvenient because I now have to place my tire up on the roof before I can even, you know, do everything. But we're almost there. Tomorrow we'll arrive there. It's strange, you know, I've been out on the road for like a whole week now 
it's just a different reality and I feel like I'm gonna feel so lost once I get there. I'm like, now what? I'm gonna miss the road a little bit, but not yet because I still have a lot of driving to do. I have to get a little uh, workout in, but first I'm gonna make some coffee. We're gonna do an experiment. We're gonna do decaffeinated coffee and caffeinated black tea. <laughs> Stop. I just spilled it everywhere trying to stop this thing. Put too much water in. This doesn't even look tasty. I don't even like coffee like this anymore. Oh, that's terrible. This is what I think of when I think of Nebraska. I don't think of Nebraska, to be honest. No hate to Nebraska. But we're, the territory is starting to change now. It's very interesting. This is like the transitional state. Wyoming's probably like that too. And I know there's so many beautiful places on the West. I have to get through the Midwest. It's my least favorite part of America. And um, I've been through it enough and lived there enough to come to that conclusion. I was just sitting here chilling at this rest stop for just a couple of minutes, really, on my phone, just like this. I was just like this. And the police came up beside me. He's like, young lady, is everything, or he's like, is everything okay? And I didn't think he was talking to me because I'm just resting at the rest stop. So he's like, excuse me, young lady, are you okay? I'm like, uh, yeah, <laughs> why wouldn't I be? Weird. Anyways, welcome to Wyoming. We're in Wyoming now. This is the last state before Utah. And I'm just gonna drive through Wyoming and get as far as I can, and then I guess find a rest stop and sleep there. And then tomorrow we get to our destination. So I'm at this rest stop, but they have a walking trail. The scenery has definitely changed. You know, we're in the territory of rattlesnakes and rock formations, prairie stuff, you know? It's good to get a walk in. I've never been to Wyoming before. This is incredible. I'm so excited to be in a different climate, uh, scenery, landscape. It's very exciting, and especially one that I've never been in before. I've obviously been in California a lot, but besides that, I haven't really explored the West very much. I got like cups of rice that you're supposed to like microwave and put with things, but I have no way to heat it up right now. And I was hungry. So I just put some water and salt in it and ate it like that. It wasn't really good, but sometimes you just gotta eat to live. I don't like fancy food. I don't like takeout. I don't like this food with lots of stuff in it. Of course it tastes good, but it always makes me feel sick. And especially when I'm driving, I have to have a very simple diet. And it, I feel so much better on that type of diet. And we're so close to Utah, we're like six hours away now. I am in the process of a brand deal and I don't have an address, so I had to get a temporary address out there through like a service and I need to pick up that package as soon as possible because it's been delivered there to do my sponsorship. It's really hard to work on the go like that, but I figured it out. I'm gonna drive to one more rest stop if I can find one. Was it day six or something? I don't even think I can go back. I, I don't have normal life anymore. There's no normal life to go back to. It's so strange. I feel like I'm in a whole different world. It's so cold. The mountains are beautiful. The landscape has dramatically changed now. We are five hours away from Utah and it's gorgeous. I don't know if I'm allowed to stay at this rest stop tonight, but I know it's gonna be a really cold night if I do. Breathtaking. There's Yuki. <laughs> I missed all the truck drivers. Rest stop bathrooms. What should I do? Should I keep driving? 
don't know. I don't know where the next rest stop will be. I don't really want to sleep here tonight. I'm the only vehicle here that's not a semi truck. But there's no more rest stops for hours. I didn't get any food. I had a cliff bar. Like I'm spending so much money on gas. I can't even describe how much money I'm spending on gas. Like $100 a day just on gas. And adding hotels on top of that, it's just, it's, so, it's been very expensive. This is my last day out on the road, so I feel like I should be able to do this. I have to stay here tonight because there's not even hotels around like for miles and miles. And also the hotels that are around are too expensive for me to afford. I, this, this area is very barren, you know, it's very, there's not anything <laughs> for a long time. This is the Wyoming stretch in 180. I feel vulnerable out here, especially just because it's very cold and you just don't know who you can trust and if you're safe. It just seems like I'm the only girl here. I just feel like this is a very a lot of men around. I'm just my little car. I don't really have any food. I have two bananas, which that'll hold me over for the night. We'll just have to get food tomorrow. I do have my little other rice cup, but that was not good to eat like that, so my rations are low. <laughs> Buenos dias, mi amigos. It's a hermosa morning. It's a beautiful morning. It's cold, but yeah, I was all worried and everything last night for no reason. Everything was fine. Laid down. I mean, no, I don't get the best quality sleep, but everything is fine. Six o'clock and the sun is rising. Oh, oh, it looks so pretty over there. I still try to keep a morning routine. Um, I like to do oil pooling. Everything is very much more inconvenient when you're living in your car, but I still think it's very important, especially as humans, to keep some sort of routine. So I do my oil pooling. I, you know, wash my face, try to bathe as much as possible and brush my teeth and put on some, a little bit of makeup and sunblock and all that stuff but it's a long process because i have to like take down all my stuff to like get changed in here it's just more inconvenient oh god that is hard these prunes have fallen out so many times and I've picked them off the ground so many times and then the whole thing rolled all the way over there and I had to chase it like a little monkey, a barrison. So I'm getting used to this routine. It doesn't get any less stressful. Prunes are expensive, you know, but. <sighs> so glamorous. It's a nice little Communal experience getting up in the mornings here with all my trucker friends. Goodbye, Baba Joe. And these are the times you have to be as fast as you can because you don't want everyone to watch you struggling, judge you <laughs> for your lifestyle choices. Even I had a cliff bar yesterday and I just realized how sensitive my stomach really is to like all those processed types of foods. So it's like not good for me. Water. I got these, they're pickled baby carrots. Smell pickled. Oh. Mm. All right. Full tank of gas. Which, goddamn. This thing is using gas like a beast. I'm in rough shape. I'm in real rough shape. But I got my package. I threw it in the back there. I was so surprised that it actually worked. Like, I always have problems getting packages because I'm always moving around to have an address. So, you just random service that I found online and it worked. So, I picked that up first thing. And I'm stopping here at Target to get some, some groceries and then I'm going to my Airbnb that I have booked here. It feels very strange being here in the city again. Um, I hate it. I don't hate Salt Lake. I don't know it yet. But I just realized that I don't like, well, I don't like driving in town. There's certain cities I do like, but not American cities. I'm in Utah. Welcome to Utah! so cool that the mountains are just lining the background. It's amazing. Oh, sticky. This is the next day. I am 
at my Airbnb, which is uh, an Airstream. I've always wanted to live in an Air... If I was to live somewhere, I'd want to live in an Airstream on some sort of land or something. So I thought it would be cool to stay in an Airstream for a while, like a vintage one. I'm actually out here doing my makeup because I prefer it in my car now. And I just wanted to just crawl back in here and just be in here because I like it. And I'm sad because I was driving, um, basically coming right into Salt Lake City, uh, the creaking on the side of my, um, the driver's side. And it would just do that occasionally here and there. So I was like, okay, but it did it for a while then. And I'm like, okay, that's definitely something to do with probably the suspension. Just thinking about having to go into the garage again, the, uh, how much that's gonna cost. It's stressful having a vehicle, it's stressful. You know, freedom comes at a cost, I suppose, but it's just possible. There's so many possibilities for her to break down and leave me stranded in a place where I know no one. But then I think, you know, I don't know anyone anywhere, anytime I'm anywhere. I think my eyes are like sunburnt or something. It's not a glamorous life, but it's actually a life that I really like more than I even thought that I would. And I'd love to keep doing it. It has not been cheap to get here. It is expensive to just travel around really really. I'm pretty irresponsible with the way that I do it, but stay extraterrestrial. Thank you so much for coming with me on this grand, grand adventure. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.